Right here at 11, the community weighs in on a new LMPD policy announced today. Louisville's mayor and police chief committing to quicker turnaround times for body camera video release and officer involved shootings. They believe it'll increase transparency and so far they're getting some positive feedback tonight. Some change came today. That's right. It's not big, okay. but it's changed. Louisville's Inspector General applauding LMPD's newest policy change, reversing procedures set in place by the previous mayor's administration. The chief and I inherited unwritten and inconsistently applied policies regarding officer-involved shootings. Current Mayor Craig Greenberg and Police Chief Jackie Gwynne Billaroyal again promising the Louisville community increased transparency. We have that experience and we know exactly how to conduct this investigation properly. To do that, they say body-worn camera footage needs to come out quicker in shootings where an officer is hit or fires and hits someone else. They're now putting LMPD's Public Integrity Unit in charge of these investigations moving forward to speed up the process. The chief says she'll personally oversee all of it. I still have the final authority to dis um, issue any discipline necessary. This is a major shift to what's been common practice since 2020. A Fisher-era policy called on Kentucky State Police to review these cases first in an effort to increase trust following Breonna Taylor's death. But KSP has been going through major backlogs, leading to body camera video taking at times several weeks for the public to see. When did you know that this was something you wanted to implement? Well, I think right away in those conversations, I wanted to get body cam footage out as quick as possible, regardless of what occurred. Now, 10 business days or fewer will be the standard. We only have 11 police officers. Bishop Dennis Lyons of Gospel Missionary Church sees promise. Uh, very encouraging and it gives us some hope that the road that we are on to become the model city again, we are on the road back to being that. Once the public integrity unit is finished, they will send the case file to the Commonwealth Attorney's Office, KSP, and Louisville's Office of the Inspector General to review. The Inspector General, Edward Harness, says this change makes for a more efficient product, but has one big question right now. If three entities are simultaneously getting investigative results, uh, is there an exchange of feedback? between those entities. Ultimately, the city says the community's interest is at the heart of this decision, and time will tell whether that leads to greater trust. Let's take a closer look at that timeline. Shortly after the incident, either the police chief or executive staff will provide an update with preliminary information and address any public safety concerns. Then within 24 to 72 hours, the department will identify the officers, their histories within the department, and any subjects involved in the incident. The coroner will identify any subjects who are dead. The body camera video will be released within 10 business days. In most cases, we're told there will be exceptions, like in cases where they're still waiting on key witnesses to give statements first.